I'm in Windows 11, and we're all very familiar with going to the search box and typing in CMD for command to get the command prompt, or even typing in PowerShell to get the PowerShell box to pop up. But there's another option that we have here, which is called Windows Terminal, which I think is even better. So you can get there by right-clicking on the Start button that you see here, and you can either choose Windows Terminal or Windows Terminal Admin. Now, you need the admin if you're going to be making any major changes to your computer. If you're just getting information only, then you can get away without choosing the admin option. Now, here we see the Windows PowerShell option because you can see the PS to the left of the command. Now, if we go to the drop down, we can change between Windows PowerShell and Command Prompt. So, watch what happens when I click on Command Prompt. It opens a new tab. And when I do that, we can see the command prompt there. Let me go ahead and expand this for us. Now, the next thing we can do is we can also go down to the drop down and choose the Azure Cloud Shell. Now, you have to have an Azure Cloud Shell account all set up. I've set this up in another video that you can check out in this playlist that walks you through the whole thing. But basically what it does is instead of connecting locally to your computer, you're now connecting to your Azure account where you can make changes to storage and other things like that. However, in most cases, if you don't have this type of account, then you're just not gonna be using that particular part of the portal. We also have this option here for settings, which I think is pretty useful. And it shows us the option for the default profile when we open up the application. Are you, are you going to show PowerShell, Command Prompt, or the Azure Cloud Shell? By default, it's going to be PowerShell, which is usually pretty good for most people. We also see the default terminal application. If you hit the drop down, you can choose the Windows Console Host or Windows Terminal. And Windows Terminal is the application that I had just opened up. So I think that you'll probably want to have that if you get used to this application and you like it. You can also launch it on machine startup if you change that to on. So when you start up the computer, it will automatically launch that application. And then we can launch it in default, maximized, full screen, all these different options. The default is just the window that you saw earlier. And then the new instance behavior is to create a new window, or you have these other options. And then you have the options for the launch size in columns and rows. The one thing that this doesn't really show us is how to make the font larger or smaller. So let's take a look at that. Let's go back into our application and then hit that drop down and choose the command palette. This is a really useful tool here. What it does is it shows you things like decreasing the font size. It, it doesn't show the increase at, at, at right next to decrease. You'd have to go down here to choose the increase option. So you'd hit the control and then you'd hit the number pad plus. Basically, it's just the plus key. And when you do that, you make it larger. Or you can just click as I just did there and it'll make it larger without having to do that. You've got a lot of other options as well in the command palette, such as creating a duplicate tab, choosing the find. Find is helpful if you have a lot of things going on and you're looking for a specific word. And you can also choose the identify window, increase font size, move focus down, and other things like that. So lots of options that you can see here. So if you don't want to do the key combination that you, sh you see here, just go ahead and click on the option that you want, and then it will do that particular thing. Now the command prompt can't run any PowerShell commands like get dash disk will not work. But if you go into Windows PowerShell and you type get dash disk, that's great. But you can also type in commands as well. And that's because there are a list of aliases. So for instance, if I typed in the word date, then we can see date, and that's because of the aliases. So you can see a list of the command aliases by typing in get-alias and hit enter. And you can also create additional aliases if you'd like. So that way, for the most part, you're probably going to spend most of your time in PowerShell because you can also type command prompts as well. So that gives you a basic tutorial of how this Windows Terminal application works and how you can use it between PowerShell commands and Azure Cloud Shell.